we're gonna jump right in i've not got any fancy equipment out i'm literally using a vlogging camera to film this not a makeup camera there's a difference i like to do is just comb my brow hairs i got this from superdrug it's the got to be um you can use it for your edges you can use it for your eyebrows it's really really good this product i literally cannot live without like whether i'm wearing powder foundation liquid foundation cream foundation this is my primer i use it as a primer basically it's the charlotte tilbury flawless filter is amazing this shade is slightly warmer than my skin but because it's so sheer it literally just blends out beautifully and it also evens anything out you can see it's a touch warmer but my face is super pale compared to my body anyway because i wear spf like daily but yeah this product fabulous like you know if my skin's really good and i don't really feel like wearing makeup and i'm just saying for example like going to the post office to be honest day to day i don't wear nothing um but say if i want to look a bit put together i literally just wear this and it just gives me such a nice even complexion it's really really nice you guys see but yeah i love this product so good okay i'm gonna switch foundation brush it's gonna be obviously the same brand if you don't know i have my own brand and i'm using the a6 brush to work everything in i have one for liquid products and then i'm gonna use a different one because lately every day i've just been loving a powder foundation it just means i have to skip a few steps which honestly just saves me so much time using the bare minerals original powder foundation it looks um a little pink when i first apply it on my skin and then i don't know it just kind of blends in so i just like to get a little bit in the lid like that that's even probably like too much but it's fine like to dip it and then like pat off the excess and then what I like to do is I like to press it into my skin basically um, and I like to work with it really quickly like it literally makes my skin look flawless I don't know what's in this but it converted me because I hated powder foundation let me just compare sides for you smooth like so smooth and I love this like I'm going away soon and I'm gonna be taking probably just this with me and my Charlotte Tilbury because I feel like they just work so well together I actually can't see which is why I keep looking up I don't have a mirror in front of me should maybe have like a handheld mirror I got one can't get it out just so I can assess the situation yeah nice also another thing I like about this foundation is that you can build on the coverage as well which is insane for a loose powder foundation I didn't even know this was a thing and I love that it's not dry this is actually the original formula I know there's a few different formulas they've got a, a matte formula and I think they've got one more but I just really like the original it gives me a really nice like hydrated kind of like glow which I'm here for because my cheeks are actually slightly drier than my t-zone so my t-zone is actually really oily compared because I have combination skin so this just kind of like balances everything which is really nice and then that's literally all i do for foundation it's literally so quick like if i'm not filming or anything it will take me like less than two minutes which i'm just here for it just means i can sleep a bit longer as well the next thing i'm going to be doing is just correcting my under eyes i'm using the tarte medium tan golden shape tape concealer looks like that and i just like to do it directly on the inner corner of my eyes and then I put a touch 
around my mouth just to kind of cancel out any darkness I might have. I'm taking my Ali Cosmetics at Cruise Sponge and I'm just gonna, it, this is just correcting for me so I don't put anything on to my eyelids. I just don't really feel like I need to. I kind of like the natural colour of my eyelids, I'm just embracing it and then I'll just go with a bit of eyeshadow later on but you'll see that anyway. The two concealers that I reach for um, every day. So I've got the Too Faced Born This Way in Natural Beige. And then I've got the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Sand. So I reach for either one of these. I think today I'm going to do the Too Faced. Why not? It's just a bit brighter than my complexion. But it's nice to like highlight. And when I'm wearing powder foundation I literally just put it under my eye and then I give myself a nice little lift as well that's all I do for my everyday concealer so whilst I'm letting that sit I'm getting my face powder ready so I'm today I'm using the Givenchy love this powder it's genuinely one of my favorites I reach for it all the time if I'm going to a wedding or I don't remember last time I went to a wedding but if I'm going out and I need my makeup to stay I'm gonna use this it's a bit pricey but it lasts for months like months and months and months and I could use it every single day so what I like to do is just open it get a bit on the lid just make sure you get that even distribution of each color I'm not sure if you guys can see and then I get my powder puff so I'm using the Alia Cosmetics powder puff as well and I'm just gonna have that ready so then straight after when I blended this out I'm just gonna go in with this I love this concealer because it's not too bright it's nice for every day but it still gives me like a nice like highlighted effect so even though I've used a powder foundation I still need to powder my face and the reason being is so that one my makeup lasts and two because I do have a really oily t-zone and my makeup can separate around my nose if I don't set it with powder like no matter what foundation I use so I always like that flawless kind of finish dip everywhere so you've got it like that and then what I like to do is just get it in the palm of my hand to put off any excess and then what I like to do is just keep pressing until the powder's disappeared so I don't necessarily bake I just feel like this makes your makeup last so much longer so that's one side done you can see it is smooth 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 compared to the sign it's like all shiny and stuff so yeah I'm gonna do the same I always have to set my upper lip, it's the one place where I just get sweaty, you know? And then I like to do my chin as well. I like this powder because it's so like finely milled, you can't really feel it on your skin, like it's so lightweight. That's just the kind of powders I've been breaching for lately. And then I of course have to set my forehead because that's like one of the most oiliest places on my face. Whatever's left. I'm just kind of set at the cheek areas because we are going to be wearing bronzer and blusher so we don't want it to get patchy next I'm using dark deepest mac mineralized powder looks like that I've been loving this to just kind of just warm up the complexion because as you can see right now it looks super pale after using that powder I feel like I'm going to sneeze <laughs> So we're not we're not contouring, okay? We don't do that for everyday makeup. We're just bronzing and we're warming up the complexion. That's like the complexion all warmed up, looking cute. Next we're gonna go in with some blusher. Lately I've been loving this blush from MAC, it's called Frankly Scarlet, it looks so bright. I saw it straight away and I was just like, that is a bit of me, 100%. And it's so pigmented as well, so you don't actually need a lot. 
and I like to keep this nice and high. The only thing is with this blusher is that if you don't set your face, it can get a little bit patchy. And I know someone's going to come for me for the amount of blush I wear, but I literally, I don't care. I love blush. Put it on my nose. And my chin. I feel like if I don't put it on my chin, I look weird. Like, it isn't, it's not balanced, you know. Just take that same bronzer for MAC and Ola Cosmetics A3 brush and I just like to go down the sides of my nose just really subtle like nothing crazy it makes all the difference trust me guys I'm so angry with how gloomy it is right now outside like, it's not the vibe I don't know where I put my liquid highlighter I actually had it I had it in my bag <clears throat> okay so for brows i've been loving the whole like soft kind of fluffy brow so i'm using the makeup by mario brow pencil so i'm just doing it really soft and i'm just kind of using it to outline and get the shape going really subtle and then because of that, you know that brow gel we used earlier, the got to be one, it does not move your hairs on your brows. So I go in with the NYX Espresso Brow Pen just to kind of mimic any hairs in the gaps. I'm a bit particular when it comes to my brows, but I also at the same time love the whole like, you know, messy, fluffy kind of thing going on. So yeah. Taking the same bronzer we used from earlier and I just like to put that in my crease and I don't necessarily put anything else. I kind of just blend it down to the lid as well so it doesn't look patchy or anything. I mean you could just use like a brown eyeshadow but it just means you're just using the same product like it's just easy and when you're doing everyday makeup you don't have time to be looking for eyeshadows you know once i skip this step just depends on my mood but i just need a bit of like warmth on my eyes and then for eyeliner i'm using the what's it called nyx epic ink liner i love this liner like the applicator is so tiny and it's so black as well I've done the eyeliner now and then what I like to do is put a black in the waterline on top and bottom. It just kind of gives my eye a little bit more definition otherwise it kind of just looks empty. So I'm going to do that. I love to use the Urban Decay in the shade 0. I'm going to do it off camera because I need to kind of yank my eye down. So I just applied some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I used the Maybelline Lash Sensation for the top and then I used the L'Oreal Telescopic for the bottom. I just like the, the applicator on this, it's like really, really small. So it's nice for bottom lashes, especially because mine are like so non-existent. Um, but I did have a lash lift by Saray. I'll leave her at in the description. She's honestly amazing. I've also had a brow lamination with her before, um, but lash lift, I go to her consistently now. Like I don't wear lashes as much as I used to um, because of the lash lift. Like I genuinely didn't realize my lashes were that long. It's just because they were like facing down. And then now they have like a really nice curl so you can actually see them, especially when I wear eyeliner now as well. So I love that. Those are my lashes, love these. I'm gonna, oh, I forgot to apply liquid highlighter. Okay, I'm gonna be using the About Face Beauty. Guys, it's getting so dark and, wait, what's the time? It's 1.20 p.m., like afternoon. What the hell, a bit too much here, that's a lot. I just like to apply it on the high point. Sometimes liquid highlighters can be hard work, like especially if you like to have a matte base and like set your face and stuff. Um, but I just, I take that risk, you know. You just have to. Oh, see that like, that was like 
so much. I do really like this um, About Face Beauty one because I know that I can just work it with my fingers as well and the makeup underneath like it just won't get patchy or anything which is really really nice. I feel like the camera's not in focus or is it? No see that's not in focus. Okay. Anyways I'm nearly done like guys I can't like I just I cannot like it's not even 1.30pm and just like the lighting is not it's not it. So two lip products that I've just kept in my handbag, I literally have to take it out of my handbag and sharpen it, is the Makeup Forever Lip Pencil. It's a really nice warm chocolate brown and then I love the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil. So you can actually use this as a blush as well which is really cool. Um, in the shade Fringe. So let me just blot off that Too Faced Lip Injection from before. This is so blunt. But I just have to work with it because this lighting is just getting darker and darker. Okay, so as you can see, it's like a really nice warm chocolate brown. I literally just go really close to the edges. And then on the corner, just like bring it in slightly. This is so dark compared to the lipstick I'm going to be wearing. But I just like to have that definition. We are using the lip product from Nude Sticks. Okay. It looks super dark because of the lighting. But I've, this is just what I've been reaching for, for every day. It just kind of makes me look like I have something there. Sometimes when my lip is too nude, especially when I'm out shooting content, like, it just washes me out completely and it literally blends in with my skin tone. Whereas this, it looks like I have something on, if that makes sense. I did forget to um, spray my face. The um, Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Really nice. It's actually... It's like a mist. Let me shut up. It's like going in my mouth. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze again. So, yeah, that is my everyday makeup routine. This is just what I do. It's just super quick, easy. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if I miss anything out in the description, but I will try and link everything that I use. I obviously didn't film this in like a makeup setup so do excuse the lighting. I just kind of wanted to keep it more like not Instagram vibes you know. Like We're going for a different vibe on YouTube so let me take these out.